All of us have a couple of items in life we cannot live without or at least don't want to. These can be certain clothes, accessories or even completely unrelated gadgets and devices. For this episode I partnered up with Robert Jones, founder of the YouTube channel Gent Style, who introduced his own clothing line recently. We will share our favorite things with you. Both of us picked 10 items which we will discuss in this video. Feel free to make a list like this on your own and post it into the comments. And also don't forget to check out Robert's channel which is linked in the video description. Hey guys, my name is Robert Jones and host of Gent Style. I have my own YouTube channel you guys can check out. I'd like to thank Benjamin first off for allowing me to be in this video with him. I am honored to be here. So getting into the list of my 10 favorite things, the first thing I have on the list is near and dear to my heart, and that is my 1994 Ford Mustang GT. I know what you're saying, Robert, you're a style guy. I didn't know you were a car guy, and of course, I am a car guy. I absolutely love my Mustang. It's a project that I've been working on for almost two years now, and it's finally coming together. I've had it painted. I've done just a whole bunch of stuff to it to really make it the perfect old car. So I really like cars personally, but I would not describe myself as a car guy and I don't have any deeper knowledge about engines, transmissions and all this stuff. My car is a 2020 Opel Corsa in orange, the only color which was free of charge. But for me it's more of a practical thing and not something I have a deeper connection with. That's why I did not choose my car as the first item, but my brand new briefcase from Grams28. I have had it for a couple of weeks now and used it almost daily to carry my laptop, tablet and many more things. It looks good, it's rather easy to carry around and it works with most of my favorite suits and combinations. To learn more about this briefcase, check out my in-depth review on Grams28. So that's item number one. Now getting into the second item, and that item is the Essential Navy Suit from the Gent Style Collection. Earlier this year, I launched my own clothing line uh, for my subscribers and uh, have a bunch of different suits in there. But one of the first suits that I got from the collection myself was the Essential Navy Suit. And the reason I call it that is because a Navy suit is essential to every guy's wardrobe and is a staple. I get a lot of wear out of this item and I absolutely love it. The navy suit is an awesome classic item which I love as well, but I rarely have to dress up and occasions got even less frequent when Covid kicked in. So I tried to opt for some more casual options and one of my all-time favorites is this natural brown tweed suit from Oliver Wicks. The styling is great, the fabric is an Italian tweed which can easily be worn during spring and autumn without any overheating issues. The styling is simple and the cut is rather conservative. It's probably the suit I wear the most during the colder months. Item number three on my list is going to be a fragrance and it is called Clean Reserve and I'm not sure who the actual maker is, but I got this at Sephora a few weeks ago. It is a very fresh fragrance. It smells like laundry. It just, it smells so clean, so fresh, so pure and it's something uh, that I've been testing out and it really doesn't have the greatest longevity, but I just love the smell when I spray it on my skin. The third item I want to mention is my solid stick umbrella made by Ombrelli Fornara. I have had it for about half a year now and I used it pretty much every day because it was raining pretty much every day. A great piece I highly recommend. For more information just check out my video about this accessory. Then next up, I am a videographer full time so one of the things I carry around is a leather briefcase with my computer in it. And so that's what I have here for my fourth item on the list. This is something I have with me every day. It carries things like SD cards, my uh, computer, it carries uh, things like chargers and all those kind of accessories. And it looks really good when you wear it with a suit. It's just a great accessory and I think it's something that every gentleman should have. Another rather boring piece, but one that I loved wearing over the last couple of months. My suede Chelsea boots from 3DM Lifestyle. They are easy to slip on, go well with many of my more casual outfits and are very comfortable. They might not be the most handsome pair of shoes, but they do their job really well. The next item is going back towards a fragrance and it is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. 
This is a wintry fragrance. It's something that I wear in the fall and winter. Uh, I'm still wearing it because here in Indiana, it is still very cold. And so this fragrance smells like the name states, tobacco and vanilla. It's just absolutely a fantastic fragrance and something that I recommend to every guy, especially if you're like me and you really care about the performance. This is something that's gonna last on your skin for 10 hours. I started to dig into the topic of black tie last year and produced a couple of videos about dinner jackets and tuxedos. As much as I like my ivory dinner jacket from HSS XMHB, my favorite piece has to be the velvet dinner jacket made by Spear and Mackay. It was ridiculously cheap, fits me like a glove for a ready to wear item which I didn't even get tailored and it gets me more compliments than any other piece of clothing I have ever worn. So the next item on the list is going to be my gold cigar lighter. This is what I use whenever I go to a cigar lounge or just enjoy, you know, a nice smoke here at home. I have this to light my cigars and it's out of the liquid in there now. So that's why it's not working in this clip but it is an absolutely amazing lighter and uh, it just looks the part. It's got a gold colored case and it's just really clean, really crisp, something that's small and it does a great job when it's filled up. As much as I like my sartorial styles Zippo, it arguably is the worst option to light cigars. That's why my next item is my pair of headphones, the Master and Dynamic MW65. They are ridiculously expensive for closed back Bluetooth headphones, but they have the best sound I have ever heard in this price range. I compared them to pretty much every other brand, starting at Bang & Olufsen over Sony, Sennheiser, Bayer Dynamic, Bowers & Wilkins and many more. No other pair of headphones has a similar sound signature and no other pair of headphones plays high frequencies as precise as these do. In addition, the battery life is great and they support proper Bluetooth codecs, which I can use with my Google Pixel 6 Pro. The only not so nice thing is the rather bad active noise cancellation, which I don't mind at all. And then the next item that I have is my cigar humidor. This is where I store all of my cigars inside of my collection. Uh, I got this from a local cigar shop and it's something that I really like now that I'm into cigars. I actually own a cigar humidor as well, but it's the cheapest one I was able to find on the internet and I am afraid to show it on screen. That's why I will continue with my blue fedora made by Polcup. It may not be the most sartorial style headwear ever, but it is affordable and fits me quite well. I want to look into the topic of headwear more deeply at some point, but for the moment these fedoras are sufficient options for my outfits. The eighth thing on the list is my YouTube studio, where I'm at right now. This is in my basement. It's something that I recently built out. I was using an old studio before, which is actually over there. And I really just wanted something a little bit more classier. And so I came up with this. I absolutely love this studio and it is here to stay. My man, I really love the studio you have built and I really wish I would have enough space to do something similar. I always feel like no matter how much bigger the apartment or house you are moving into is than the last one, there still isn't enough space. Never! <laughs> However, the next item on my list is this corduroy safari jacket made by Poshetka. It's an easy to style casual piece that I wear very often, for example, to university. In general, I love most of the stuff Pochetka makes and highly recommend checking this brand out if you haven't done that before. Along with the studio, another crucial element and favorite thing of mine on this list is going to be my camera equipment. This is what I use to make a living. I do videos and have a video agency full time. And so I use all this camera equipment for my clients uh, that pay me every month to do video for them. And I use them for the gym style videos as well. I would literally be nothing without my camera equipment. Oh yes, I love my camera equipment as well. I currently film on my Sony Alpha 7R Mark II and in my hand, in my hand, you can see my second A7R II. I have two prime lenses made by Sigma, the 35mm ART and 85mm ART, both native for Sony E-mount. I also have a couple of vintage lenses and I am looking further into the topic of affordable anamorphic lenses at the moment. 
The setup may not be perfect for filmmaking, but it does its job very well. For editing, I use my Xiaomi Notebook Pro X15 with an i7 11370H, RTX 3050 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM and 1024 gigs of SSD storage. I particularly love this laptop because of the 4K OLED display with perfect blacks, high peak brightness and great color reproduction. For anything besides color grading, I use my 34-inch widescreen monitors with 144Hz. I love technical stuff, gear and film equipment, so if you are interested in a whole setup tour, please let me know in the comments. So the final item on the list is going to be a pair of double monk straps from the Gent Style Collection. These are the shoes that we offer. We have a custom shoe program in addition to the custom suits. and so. Absolutely love these shoes. They polish very well and are a very sleek look. They have a higher heel, which I think is a great looking feature. And uh, these are absolutely my favorite shoe in my wardrobe. And maybe I'm biased because they are my brand. But uh, again, I think the quality is really great and I absolutely love wearing these with my suits. The last item on my list has to be my Orient Bambino. I'm not all that much into watches, but I wear this one every day because it's the only one I own. It's rather simple, elegant and has a quite good automatic movement for the price. I kinda wanna buy at least one or two more watches in the future, but currently that's not one of the most important points on my list. So guys, those are my 10 favorite things. If you guys would like to learn more about me and my channel and my clothing line, the Gent Style Collection, Check out my YouTube channel. It is GentStyle, G-E-N-T-S-T-Y-L-E. -E. Also, thank you, Benjamin, for featuring me in this video. It is a pleasure, and I'm very humbled that you asked me to do this. Uh, I absolutely love your channel and think that your content, the production is amazing. I just want to say that. So thank you for featuring me in the video. And that has been this video. Thank you so much for watching this whole thing. I mostly try to keep my videos rather short, but in this case that was basically impossible to achieve. I hope you still liked it. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and to subscribe to Gent Style. The link is in the video description. See you in two weeks and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that before. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs>